goes your direction. Checking it out, seeing who's TPing in. Toro with the Lincolns. Got an extra life. He's got a BKB in his backpack for that second life. Oh, and collapse. they've got an opportunity from Collapse. Old Celery out of position. All right. Raggio gonna try and use that faceless void form to be able to help out Blood. The Chronos here goes got the door. The old Scepter not actually grabbing the real one. Oh, he's still up and he finishes off the morph like so easily. And now the RP gets the other two cores. Team Spirit so clean. The extra ghosts come out from the Wraith Kings, but he doesn't really do anything. Ace just pops DKB on the second life. They do manage to get another pick here on his salaries. He tries to jump forward. They've got nothing left in the tank on Gaming Gladiators. They are all gonna fall. They're gonna throw their damage around. The Chief's actually getting popped. It's Glab's got a little bit low, but in the foul, Laro goes. A He's gonna Toro a rampage, maybe a double. No, no, Tofu's gonna deny him that. They're gonna call the GG unless pulled back in. No, this one is a in second the rampage to finally close it <laughs> up. I mean, why not add to his total, oh, right? Follow. That is a very bold move. When your primal is dead, he's so much of your damage, so much of your burst damage. I mean, again, they're very close to bursting your Toro, but the man knows his limits. Elvin to oh, help in. Oh, Tofu! Yeah! A shot from downtown claims the life of Yotoro. <laughs> Just as I cast her first thing. Save, trying to get towards an Agonim Scepter for himself. Azure, they see GPK, decide to jump on him to start, make him less tanky, oh, no. but the Chrono for the turn, and the Deep's being thrown out and ripping them to shreds. They didn't stand a chance. Where to? You're going to. Well, there was a battle maybe a brewing over to the oh, side, but oh, the TP in. Dun, 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 and tries to take it down and oh the yes, they, they got him caught Kiritic, no not my wrist dash yeah with buyback nightfall jumps oh, in has the buyback kick back the buyback's there can they oh two shot gotta be careful is remember the throne the remember the throne he's gone. the throne is there it's exposed but nobody is hitting it notice tries to get out but Oh, they do so much damage with the rest of these heroes now kicking back in the tombstone double tombstone is down the throne exposed pure all on top of it can they bring it out in time save Dave, he's in the shadow realm and trying to end the game the control it's gonna be there but they find the hex trying to kill him saves they're in it toronto tokyo ends the game and with that the approach they're gonna group up together okay. and take this fight yatoro just time lapsed to the fountain and back to get his bkb he will not have time lapse for this fight because i don't need it with the three -man coil. It's looking beautiful, and Yutoro's right in there with his fresh BKB to lay the damage in these cores. Once again, Ace has no chance with the bear, and of course the Beastmaster's gonna lock down that ball. You're not going anywhere, Quinn. They're gonna catch more. Tofu's gonna be the last one down to Rachu. Only survive. Because your opportunity to find supports on the back line and start on them is very limited around this pit. Celery deep in the corner. How do you get anyway. this guy out of here? What a tour. Tour, though. It's yeah. a oh, three. That's beautiful, but immediately the BKB going off. They are doing a lot of damage. The Necropros is getting low. Can they finish? Oh, five. Oh, and he's just cleaning up with the glaze. And Celery dove on through the pit, but he missed the ages. He was barely outside of that range. <laughs> Game oh, in. With a Radiant Skeleton King. Am I allowed to say that? Farming up the entire map. <laughs> <laughs> he will match him. Oh, Laurel? It's essentially there to grab him. Mira can stop some of this, though. Throws out in silence. Thinks well. Oh, so much burst damage, though. Celery hit him big with that one. He got off the shield crash, though. No way. And those shields are keeping him alive. They need a bit more damage, but now he's teeping away. Goodbye. Yeah, up. The boat is going to not land on him. So they are able to survive with Chalice not buying back. But FY, wait, he bought back. FY, does he have enough to stay alive though? The stun is there a long duration, but no, he's gone. Just like that one. GPK stunned for a little while. Chal is still there for the control, but he's out of position. Three seconds stun, starts to fall and gone. Can they find more? But there's the Reaper Scythe oh. there for a turnaround. The fight, it's lasted too long. This is where Somnus shows up. Gets the blink away. GPK managing to escape. Oh, we're thinking about wait, something here? Wait, wait. wait. A little crazy? Yule Scepter, hold Can't on, go. hold on, on hold on. Can they do it? GPK wanted to fight, but is it actually going to work? They're all lined up. Pugna starts to fall. He goes down, but he's inside. He infests. He's disarmed. He's disarmed. He can't hit. The right click. It's enough. Yule takes them down. Two seconds done on the side. Oh, he's trying to get the kill, but he transfers it over. Gets the cheese off in time. The Lotus, not sure what it was, he's but now he's over to the side and Somnus still living. Somehow, someone. Oh, 
He's gonna do it! Triple kill for GPK. Is it enough? Can they do it? They take him down. GPK trying to run, but no! Somnus is too strong! Too fast. Look at the positioning from nothing to say. He'll be able to break the smoke. He's in on the it's high ground. It's gonna be hard for that to get past him. Sure, and you getting the space to finish off. Ace. Give me the safe. Gonna get the grab. They turn straight away. The side comes down. And nothing to say. He's able to put the BKB jump for from Ace. Nothing to say. He's able to live for that. He takes out. He's onto the egg with the chemical rage. He's able to he take solo it. kills him. Takes the super over out. Turns over to one dude. Put the BKB. Big stun. Zero. Zero with the tag. Gets the Aegis on the Luna. Durango tries to stand his ground against him, but he's caught by the disruption. They're on to the Luna. The Luna's out the watch. He's not got a lot of buy back this second life here for Shiro could be a rough one so he's able to get out of this one okay he's alone he's alone. He picks up the rapier he's not able to get it out of him he tries to put the refresher but he's, he's gone he's, he's out and he just sped up nothing to say which could be quite something still against the uh, Toro right when he's uh how to use the bkb and so that reduced attack range <laughs> yeah you know it's something i don't think i've ever seen more player use mira uh, it's jumped he's got the eon just got the ready if we can continue to follow this up on the side, Maposka doesn't He's stand a gone. chance. Maybe they can find more here as Mira also take a heavy damage from the illusion. Hit what an angle. Was la -la -la. Get the torrent storm and the BKP off. Tries to step back. The torrent is in. in the midst of the fight. The torrent still continues. Sorry about Big RP. The RP looks down and the to take it. Nothing to say down. They take it as you. No buyback available for nothing to say. As he's out for two minutes. See the torrent also able to find They get you as well. Uh, they don't have buybacks. They don't have buybacks. 50 seconds until Shiraz is back up. And, and nothing to say, he's not even got the money, even if it was back then. You try to hold them out. He's in with the. Uh, he's doing a pretty good job. There from Mira, buys a charge for your dog. He's just dead. Maybe one last gas coming out. Dark Willow hitting the tier four towers. FNG jump forward, Inkswell kick back one, snowball follow. The doom is there. They get him caught. Is it enough for the kill? Kirtich chasing, wanting to get something done. Now Squad X hunting also, they connect and find that kill onto the Wraith King. Nightfall, BKB tries to TP out, but the dude is there, level 25. Gets him caught. No way to get out of there. A second round now. Notice he will have another one. They kill him off again. In trouble. Cataclysm there for the turn. They have enough damage to bring down Kiritich. Kiritich turns, starts slinging those guns, beating into him. Toronto, Tokyo, still okay. very tanky. He bought the refresher the mid fight. Damage. Oh my god, he's a carry now. Get the hell out of here. This guy's hard to deal with. But the disarm, the lift up, the torrents there, the control pier beats him back in. And Toronto, Tokyo, the giant zombie, 12,000 HP just starts any buildings he is way too strong at this point on this undying heart everything else gpk gets hex squad x is there muerta is back alive again after the buyback there's the refresher pulls him in wants to bring him down and turns with a pierce the veil but save does he have enough damage oh how do you Takes like it well and gets him caught and killed Nightfall with Roll the turn refresh. Starts being into him. Okay, maybe a chance. Nightfall. Six down. seconds. Oh, almost gone. No, but he gets away. The lift up from GPK keeps him alive. Second round. Oh, he walks back in. Can they get him? Do they have enough? Yes, they will. That's GPK dead. No buyback on either Pure or the Dark Willow. If they can actually Nightfall. make this fight work. Wait a minute. There might be a chance. Heritage hexed up. Can they get him out of there in time? The Inkswell is there for the turn. They find the finish to get out. Squad X there with the control. The break. The hit. Mota does he have enough? Toronto, Tokyo getting lower, but is just going to back out. This is a dangerous territory. There are no buybacks right now on any of the dire. They find him with the Easy here, LGD, if they want to hold. Duracho being careful. 10 seconds for Chemical Rage. He's letting Quinn just hit the throne. They're doing it safely. They're doing it carefully here, Gaming Gladiators. Another charge for for nothing to say. Trying his best to tank the spells. Loads are thrown out upon him. Reflectively, a pistol blade from Duracho. Celery trying to hit onto the ancient himself. 20 seconds. They've got the fortification. LGD doing their best, holding out for a Shiro here, but he may not respawn to die as he's dead for 15 more seconds. Right, They're looking to close it. it onto the agent. 10 seconds until the Luna's up. Nothing to say. Try to put a stop to it all. New. He's in with the hoost up. He's got the two of them. He gets the jump. The burst is over, but Durango, he's dead. They killed him. It doesn't matter though. But they got it. Ace. Plus guys in this game. I mean, Mira's quite farmed. Oh, yeah. You're talking about a high ground break mechanism. They really get in a stalemate and need it. He's going to kick someone out, and Yator just runs straight into them. Pops the BKB, turns around. Oh, man, that damage is just building up so quickly. Quinn's got it in an instant. So is the bear. Duraccio battling up against Laurel, but the big bad boss of the, the fight is definitely Yatoro. And once he turns it's his over. eye on a hero, it disappears. Over. Game over for this one. A team spirit. Making a really nice grab for gaming. That is what they want because now you're putting them in a position where if Matthew dies again. This high ground just gets broken entirely. 
I say that to Pekaz, he's just raining down Hellfire Rachio, right he's now. He's gonna get on top of Pekaz right now, but of course, Snap does get him a little bit of distance with the side device. Now they get the Terrorize on him. That's gonna be the first life and let's... No, he does fall. Yeah, get Matthews by. Matthew, can he get the kick in on the revive? Jirachu instantly pops BKB. C Smile looks to jump forward. Pops his BKB, but Jirachu pops his own BKB to go for Quinn instead. Now with the kick back on him, they blow him up instead. Ace coming in deep, and look at the Fisher. He's blocked off right now with his BKB. He can protect himself, but immediately rip pressure. C Smile trying to get up, but Panda was in deep. The on the oh, front line. The no the buy. He jumps straight in, takes out Jirachu. Panda gave him an opportunity, and Picaz goes straight for the throw. Now he's going to finish up both Ace as well. The blood zone, the blood zone, C Smile. He's in this bottom lane. Not easy for LGD to get around this. Hey, look, Toro. He's playing very far. But he's got the Shadow Blade. They lay down a stage with him off the side of it. They're in the jump of the league because he's there. He's able to fade right. away from the initial attempt from LGD, but still they RP. Not just they drags him back towards the rest of the team there. They bring the Toro down. Team is coming in with Spirit. Can they follow the fallback tidal wave there? Pulling them back. The fear follow up as well. Straight down onto nothing to say. The Magnus will fall. Here comes Collapse. He drags back Shira. They fully focus the Spectres. The Toro follow up there for a while. Kill for collapse. A spirit, they'll lose your Toro, but they make up the pay. They'll find the third. Triple kill for collapse. Give it the fourth. Four. They chase our planet. Ultra kill and crafts. So I'm just going in. I mean, and speaking of, you know, these these going in builds. Oh, Yadro. Yeah, I mean, he gets the wisdom rune, but he's going to pay for that. No, time walk. Gets away. Time dilation. Chrono now on to one. Wants to find that kill okay. to pay. He says, yeah. I'll take that one and get out. Why not? I think, right. they, I think they just wait. And none of that happened. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're going for Rax here? Ooh. Nope, they're going for Illich. Illich is going to be the target of the set. The Hex is there, and the damage comes in. It's so much shot down in seconds by the Muerta. BKB now but coming no, down as well. Lane. MJZ on the sidelines here. And he's trying to get off the L. Doesn't have the egg. Muerta actually just going to go and stand and hold his ground here. And he's just taking down everyone. Illich is gone, but the BKB is ending soon. He's completely out of mana. Who wins a fight between him and the Luna? Well, with a stun coming through from Saberlight, it might well be the Muerta. Oh my god, Luna, she finally falls. Oh, uh, TC, he's taken Perfect. down everyone it's a rampage for RTZ right now oh, nothing to say for See this what next they can fight do. as well uh oh if this goes wrong it may just be all over here as Azure Ray they're gonna step forward already nothing to say to the two they're gone immediately take a low TMA F boys out of the game as low and F they do not have buyback Sonus also put to a stop there and attempt to TP out Chow they just can't do anything as you're whoa 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 okay 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 Shiro's gone <laughs> Alright, Charles. 2100 he's got, gold. He's got something to say. He's taken down one of them. Furtis Pro together. They just got Aghanims on I mean, the Invoker. They have the Scythe on FNG as well. If he sees the looking, right target. Looking, looking, hunting. He's still in vision though. They jump forward, find him. But Poshka off to the side. They get him with the Hex. The Cataclysm. Yadro jumps away and now turning. Wants to hit onto that egg. BKB already out. Collapsed in. Brings it down. Now they did kill off the Muerta already. Laurel tries to back oh, away. Gets out. The tries to escape. Yadro gun slinging away. Does he have enough damage? Oh, can he get out of there? Survives. He turns it around. Triple kill. Yadro goes for an ultra! Oh, he'll pop the song up. He'll try to allow his team to retreat for now as nouns. They don't want to fight without that secondary life, but the chase is on. 33 looking for another doom out potentially. Will commit it onto K1. He found the Naga, but where's the backup? Here they come. They've got the Naga. Oh, he's nice fired. Fisher. Now Lelis. In comes Gunner. He's got the Echo. And Skitter sneaking oh the top. They're all gone. They are all gone. Moo takes an ultra. GG is gone. He's going to be slowed down significantly, trying to get away with that hammer. Panda will cover him with a bit more slows, but the bug is going to latch. They'll have vision to whisper They're going to take the fight. Echo's Aegis right ran out. On to Quinn, right as the Aegis has run out. He's in trouble. He's already dead. Oh, what a turn. Is Picaz in good position, but look at Duraccio and Ace. They're both hunting on to Picaz right now, trying to finish him up with the Quills. Duraccio commits into the base. He goes to finish off the enemy carry, but another Shadow Realm. Duraccio is in trouble. Oh, no, no. He's overextended himself. Instead of getting the kill on the enemy carry, he got himself killed instead. Panda is going to be left alone here with the damage dealer pushed all the way back inside the base. EG can't really keep this good situation going for I them. Mean, they're healing in the and Ace. coming back. Okay, a punch up in the air does get him killed, but Ace is way far forward, and there are too many members of Evil Geniuses. He has stumbled into all of this. Now it just leaves Celery all for alone. Fifth. You got to be aware of the buyback. Now got to run away. Tries to escape. They leave the racks there. Skinner keeps going in for more. Glaive's going everywhere. Do they have enough now to take down 33? They turn, they hit. He's falling low, but he heals back up. 
And the Nether three, Ward three. damage is down, but they managed to barely connect. 33 caught by Noob. Thompson, they jump on him. Find Omar. That's a big kill to get. Can they kill any more? He buys back. Needs to get into the fight, though. Doesn't have a pulverize to break the Thompson life drain. Kaori in complete trouble, isolated. They're doing so much damage here. Thompson living in the midst of all of this mayhem. They can't stop the green little man. He's coming from R. He's taking you all down. Thompson life drain. Kaori can't do it. You can't stop it. It's way too much. Noob tries to get away. The banishment is there. An ultra kill coming out in a second for Thompson. If he can catch up oh. to the rest of them. Lamp, find the chase down. Looking for the kill. Looking for the oh, finish. Got him. Ultra kill on him. Denied the rampage. But Roche is up in eight seconds. Thinking. They get the dead shot. Connection. Now, last tier three tower alive, stepping forward onto notice, down to half HP. Keratin jumps forward, starts to bring him low. Will it be enough? No, the terrorize is there. They have their answer. Fear pushes back Yadro, but the stun, the ravage, the cataclysm times two. It's too pretty. Double ravage, double gata. Keep looking for more. Notice is about to fall again. He's going to come back in a green light, but then there's not a whole lot left in the tank. Opochka still hasn't been hit. That is Mega Creeps. Team Spirits, the favorites coming in. Back into okay. this game, so the opportunities need to come from them. Okay, another charge. Artizi moving on to the Spirit Breaker here. Very scary for Artizi here, don't forget. No buyback available on him. The charge through once again. Collapse. He is taking damage here, but they managed to get the connection on onto RTZ. The damage, though, is not really massive. And now they're fresh and Taurus one kind of losing the. Oh my god, the post from the sidelines. RTZ is gone. Team Spirit, they get the carry. Can they do it without him? They've taken down Crit as well. Collapse trying to fight up with our bed here, but Poshka from the sidelines just blasting out the impetuses. Lal with the ultra kill. Moving on to Saberlight. Saberlight trying to do what he can, but there's nothing left in the tank. Centaur's gonna drop a oh, there. Yeah, they know they're there. Are they expecting the initiation, though? Will they be able to oh, react this, this and keep you away? Keep you away. Uh oh they don't have Quinn now. Right, the initiation comes in. The Chronosphere only catching the Magnus. And the Overgrowth. That's the great, the Overgrowth that's gonna stop the damage, too. Oh, the Ravage will be able to fall. Yeah, it's an absolute disaster for Gaming Gladiators and Evil Genius Twist. They will feast in this fight. Quinn is they're back. They'll take away the Aegis. Sorachio's back into play. And yeah, Quinn's back with the Shield Room at that. Oh, a Shell Grape! Just at the right time, you will be able to let Duraccio, they finish up the tree, but Duraccio fighting for his life right now. Great Avalanche to be able to cover him up, but the Shallow Graves are just... won't he die! Going. He will not die! Finally, because deals with them, but the damage is done. He's heading this way. Oh, man, they're calling it. If they can find the OD, he's going to show on this wave right at the start. Somnus could be in a ton of trouble. Jump forward, stun. Can they bring him down in time? Is there any save at all? No! And now they decide and commit to the fight. A catastrophe. Raspberry instead. Oh my god. Lol, he blew him up. Do they have enough damage to bring the rest of them down? Oh, oh the dear god. Lol destroyed that fight. Looking now for more. Finds Gabby. The follow up stun. Alx is fine. I'll do it myself. Don't need a Doom. Don't need an OD. Just give me the blood.